YouTube demonetization, Twitter censorship, Facebook bans. The thing is, you can never truly freely express your thoughts or stay private on social media, not when there's a big brother centralized party watching over you. So in comes decentralized social media. What exactly is it? Where is it now? How does it work? We'll find out all of these and more in this video. Let's go over how the community-run Ethereum website defines these decentralized social networks, as it is necessary to understand all of the functions that need to be available within these networks. Decentralized social networks are blockchain-based platforms that enable social interaction, content creation, and distribution. You can think of them as having all of the characteristics you know from Facebook and Instagram. Still, instead of relying on a server in the company's buildings, they rely on a distributed network of computers, the blockchain. They are decentralized social media networks that protect user privacy and enhance data security. And they feature tokens and non-fungible tokens (NFTs) that create new ways through which users can monetize their content. Think of it this way. On Facebook, you have to enter your name, surname, age, location, and so on. The platform will also ask you to confirm your email, set images, and get as much info out of you as possible. In these decentralized counterparts, all you have to do is typically connect a DeFi wallet, a non-custodial one, where you own the private keys and begin using them, helping you maintain your data privacy. How do decentralized social platforms work? We must go over the social graph to truly understand how they work. This model is utilized across numerous centralized and decentralized social media platforms. The social graph is a social network model that maps everyone on a platform and establishes how they are related. This allows them to communicate with each other by utilizing the front end of the platforms, which refers to the things users can see and interact with. In the case of traditional social media platforms, they are self-contained and hosted on the server of the corporations that made them. Meta, for example, hosts Instagram and Facebook. On the other end of the spectrum, decentralized social media platforms exist by leveraging the power of a decentralized ledger, which is the public blockchain they are built on. This allows anyone, anywhere, and at any point to operate a node and access the back end of the network or create a decentralized application DApp, and curate their feed. This also means it has all the advantages of being on the blockchain, including increased security, increased user control, more monetization opportunities, less downtime, and no censorship or control from any middlemen or companies. What are the key features of decentralized social media networks? These networks get built on top of public blockchains, leveraging their decentralized and permissionless nature to build and facilitate the connection and content sharing functionality between people. Unlike networks owned by corporations like Facebook, Twitter, or TikTok, nobody can control what content is allowed or ban and restrict any user. Facebook, Instagram, and so on all have administrators and bots that can remove your posts, censor you, and just delete anything you post that does not follow their guidelines. Decentralized social media platforms, on the other hand, rely on smart contracts instead, and rarely, if ever, censor you in any way. Anyone can connect their crypto wallet or create an account without needing to provide personal information, which maintains the high level of security, privacy, and anonymity promised by blockchain technology. By adding non-fungible token NFT functionality, these decentralized social media networks can feature avatars or images that still remain owned by the users, which means that users, if they decide to, can disconnect them from the social media network at any time and maintain full ownership over them. So why do you need decentralized social media platforms? Today, there exists a plethora of different decentralized social media platforms. Let's go over and take a look at some of the most popular decentralized social media platforms that you need to be aware of in order to fully grasp what they aim to do. First, we need to look at Minds. Minds is a social media platform that aims to bring freedom of speech to people whilst also allowing them to earn crypto in the process. A decentralized Facebook, so to speak. 
Then there's Social X. This is an open source and community driven distributed project that essentially aims to replicate the functionality of platforms such as Instagram as closely as possible without the hindrances of being centralized or controlled by a third party. Next, we can look at BitClout, a decentralized social network with its own custom built blockchain, which can scale social applications to 1 billion users, a close alternative to Twitter. So, what about YouTube? YouTube has been infested with advertisements, content creators keep getting demonetized for absurd reasons, and the company behind the platform just has too many rules. DTube is the decentralized alternative, where content is monetized differently and content creators won't have to worry about censorship. There's also less ads, too, so that's another win. Next, there's Float. Think of it like a decentralized art station, or DeviantArt, where people can share their art, performances, and stories. Scent is another exceptional platform built on top of Ethereum, ETH, that features long-form content, questions and answers, and solid visuals, like an alternative Quora. Then there's Blockster, which is one of the most popular crypto social media platforms that features coins, social NFTs, games, staking, community governance, peer-to-peer, P2P transactions, and much more. Blockster aims to be a one-size-fits-all solution of all of the aforementioned social media platforms. All of these platforms aim to fill a hole in the market and provide a decentralized solution to the centralized and company-controlled social media networks we have today. The goal is to enable user freedom, avoid censorship or other geographical blockades, and enable new ways through which creatives can monetize their content. So, how excited are you for the future of decentralized social media? Let us know in the comments! Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on all our socials for future alpha. See ya!